Hello guys and gals, welcome back. We've got more organ things this week, but not jazzy chords. In the Crystal Waters video, we mentioned the Korg M1 and its famous organ patch. Well, many would argue that famous organ patch was not famous for chords, it was famous for bass. I don't mean bass sonics, I mean bass parts. And I've got a couple of tips today to help you avoid some common mistakes with organ bass. Let's go. Right then, we can't talk about organ bass without acknowledging this classic, probably the most iconic line, Robin S, show me love. I hope you're aware of that one. If not, now you are. Here's another one, great classic, uh, George Morrell, Let's Groove. And this one's probably more recently popular as it got remixed. Um, Nightcrawlers, Push the Feeling. Okay, so what am I here to warn you about? Well, you think you've been listening to the Korg M1 organ all this time, haven't you? Aha, I fooled you. You're listening to this. <laughs> Remember in the Crystal Waters video, I mentioned organs effectively are a bunch of stacked sine waves. Well, that's what I've programmed in here. This is literally what you're listening to. Here's the Robin S line again. <laughs> Now, if you missed the memo, here is the crux of the problem. Just like Crystal Waters, um, Robin S is in D minor. And organ sounds are a stack of sine waves. So the classic M1 starts with the fundamental. Here's our D. We then hear a D above that. Above that is a fifth, which is an A. And then an octave above that is another fifth. So the top note you hear in an organ is not the note you're playing. If you press a D, you get this. And what I'm here to tell you is the brain is wired for melody, really. If I was to tell you to hum this bass line back to me, you're probably going to pick this. Excuse my singing, but you get the idea. You're not going to hum me this. Right? You're going to hum which is not the bass note. You're hearing a fifth above. And a common mistake people make is to confuse that harmonic with the fundamental, and therefore all of their other parts are out of key. Well, in this case, they would think Robin S within A, not D. Let's look at George Morrell. Same thing here. This is what the actual part looks like. It's not the same patch as uh, Robin S, because... I can hear a much lower fifth. So there's only one fundamental in the George Morrell line. The rest are all fifths. So you're mostly hearing the fifth and not the bass note. Let me remove that bottom note. This is what you're hearing really. because your brain's wired for melody. Whereas the actual bass notes are these. Okay. And same for Nightcrawlers. This is the Korg M1 patch. You're going to hum me this. Whereas what's really going on, if I delete these. Is that note. So, mistake number one a lot of people make is they mistake the extra fifth on the top as the fundamental. If you think it's in A, it's probably a D. <laughs> now, the second lesson I wanted to point out is, let me just remove all the extra notes from the Robin S. We're just gonna keep our first note here. So this is the note you would get if you just pressed a D1 
on the Korg M1 patch. Or most house organ basses, basically, because they're all trying to emulate the Korg M1. You get this. Now, I'm just going to draw the D minor scale. It's all the white notes, except B. That gets flattened. We get A sharp or B flat, if you will. I'm just going to put that up one octave. So these are the seven notes of D minor. D, E, F, G, A, A sharp, C. Okay. Now, if I take our bass note here and press E, which would be note two of our scale, look what happens at the top. We end up with a B natural. That's not in D minor. So if you press note two in D minor, you'll end up with a B at the top, which is not part of the D minor scale. So be careful using note two in a minor scale when you're using organ bass. This will force you into another scale called Dorian, which is the same as D minor, but as a B natural. So if you use note two on an organ bass, you're suddenly in Dorian, not minor. Strange, I know, but these are the facts. <laughs> and if you want to know the major equivalent, if you're trying to write a bass line in major on organ bass, note seven is the problem one. Note seven will give you a sharp fourth, which will force you into a scale called Lydian. No longer major. So in other words, be careful of using note two in minor or note seven in major when using organ bass. Okay, I hope that helped someone. I just had to get that kind of PSA out there about organ bass. It's a really easy mistake to make, an easy trap to fall into without trained ears. So if you found it helpful, you know what to do, leave me a like or leave me any questions or comments below. I've had some great questions recently. Thank you for those. Don't forget to check if you're subscribed. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.